Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin. I'm filming this in my storage unit, uh, which as you can see is full of comic books. Uh, what I do on this channel is I show off four books from random and I end on a key issue or a big issue. Uh, so hopefully you stick with me and hopefully you like what I'm showing off. Uh, so I've got some, some real gold. <laughs> wow. Well, hmm. <laughs> not not so much gold, but uh, fun, fun, fun books. Uh, what I have for you is the first issue of Nightwatch, which, as you can see, it's a, a nice shiny cover. I can see it reflecting in the light there. Like, woo, Nightwatch number one. Guaranteed not to increase in value. <laughs> um, what can I say? It's Ron Lim artwork, so you know if you're a fan of Ron, you, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get some fun. Um... But I think uh, I think Spider Man appeared in the second issue of this series, so you know when Spider Man appears uh, in the second issue or even the first issue, it's it's dead in the water. Um, it's like one of those shows that uh, they get a new time slot during the first run. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you know that the, the game's over. Uh, that being said, though, it's Nightwatch. You know why not? Nineties fun, uh, but don't pay too much for it if you see it. <laughs> What I have for you next is more 90s gold, uh, and it's a personal favourite of mine. It's uh, issue 18 of Night Stalkers. Uh, now, I I really enjoyed this series. Uh, I've got an Instagram account uh, called Hannibal King 2099 uh, because I'm a fan of Hannibal King. I, I think he's a great character, and um, yeah, unfortunately, he's not on this cover. Um, what we have here, we have Frank Drake. Um, now Frank Drake is the, is a descendant of Dracula. And <clears throat> what I found interesting is that, uh, this, uh, is the final appearance of Frank and he's never returned. Uh, so he, uh, I'll give you a spoiler because unless you want to buy this for like a dollar and read it, uh, Frank was burnt alive, uh, and then put into a coma in hospital and you've never seen him again. <laughs> He's just, he's been in, in, uh, in hospital ever since. Uh, no one has thought to, uh, crack him out and, and do something with him. Uh, we've seen Dracula, uh, since, but, uh, but not Frank Drake, which is a bit disappointing. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, this is the final issue of the series. Um, I have all 18 issues. I, I did enjoy all of them. Um, the Rongani, uh, drawn, uh, issues are particularly fun. Uh, but I'm a fan of Ron, so... Yeah, there you are. All right, so what I have for you next, can you guess what it is? It's issue one of Night Stalkers, and it's still in its bag, but you know what? I've opened it up and I've read it because bloody hell, that's what you're meant to do with comic books. You're meant to crack them open and read them and enjoy them. You don't keep them encased in plastic or in the poly bags. Look, unless you've got like, you know, a couple of copies or even a, a separate copy. Um, and you really want to do that, uh, that's your prerogative. But for, for me, uh, I want to buy a comic and I want to read it and enjoy it. And I, I'd enjoy this one. Now, you, what we've got here, we've got, we've got Frank Drake. Uh, now, this is Ron Garney artwork. Fra we've got Frank Drake here. We've got Blade. And we've got my particular favorite. We have Hannibal King here. Uh, there you are. I'll bring him closer. That's Hannibal King right there. Now, um, <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds played Hannibal King in the Blade Trinity movie, um, a very different version of, of uh, Hannibal uh, King here, um, and yeah, I don't know, look, I, I, I think, I don't, know, I don't know what to think, it, it, it was a movie, it came out, it was there to be enjoyed, um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. I'm here to talk about comic books, not talk about old movies. <laughs> um, yeah, this this was just fun for me. I, I enjoyed the the horror aspect. I, I enjoyed the um, the detective work aspect where uh, these three would go out on on cases related to horror, related to vampires. Um, as a teenager, that 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 appealed to me. And uh, as a forty year old man, well, forty ish, uh, it still appeals to me. <laughs> All right, so the final uh, issue. And I can see uh, it's got the price tag on the bag. Like, oh, that's that's interesting. Okay, so what I have for you is Marvel Collector's Item number five. Uh, and it's banged up beyond belief. And I got it for a whopping $2. Uh, maybe because it's so banged up. But uh, what we have here, we have um, 
uh, an old issue of Fantastic Four. We've got Strange Tales. We've got Tales of Suspense. And we've got an old issue of The Incredible Hulk. All for two bucks. Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you buy it? Look, they're reprints, but my God, they're, they're, they're great stories. They're fun, fun stories. Um, if you can find reprints like this uh, and the price is right, pick them up because this is, th th these issues laid the groundwork for what we love about the characters today. Um, and the, the stories, uh, they could be dated, they, they could be um, overly wordy. Uh, but the artwork pops for most for the most part. The artwork really pops, uh, and there's lots to enjoy. Um, I really did. I certainly did. I didn't read it more than once. Um, I, I, I'd like to say that I read it so many times that it's now banged up and and bruised and and whatnot. Uh, but I did read this. I did enjoy it. Uh, this took me back to uh to collecting uh, as as a kid. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I have it. Okay, so that's uh, the video for today. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell if you like, if you want to see more videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.